Day one of a BMW 325 Sports E30 restoration. We've just come to pick it up from a garage in Colchester and it's going on the, this gentleman's truck back there on its way to Wooden Ferris. I've got it all tied in. Hopefully you won't lose nothing on the A12 on the way to the garage. Yeah, it's going to need tracking, isn't it? <laughs> Least of me problems. Right, we've managed to get the car into the garage now and started emptying it and this is what we've got to deal with. Pile of wires, loads of uh, inner wing liners, we've got extra prop shafts, extra servos, ABS, with all these fuel lines, practically everything here to finish the car. So this is the day after the cars arrived and uh, we've started emptying it of all its junk so now you can see how good it looks. As I say, the previous owner used to restore classic cars and he started this project, never finished it and he's I do a really good job is taking it back to metal and um, primed it weld any bits that needed to be welded in uh, I powder coated loads of bits and pieces you can see the front cross member there have been powder coated all the inside has been re -seam sealed is uh, wrapped up the black roof lining in there rather than to take it out which ain't a problem anyway and uh, here we are like just lots of bits and pieces everywhere we've started hanging things up putting bits and pieces away trying to make an organized chaos out this whole lot and there it is So what we're waiting on for now is the engine to be delivered. Again, the previous owner rebuilt the engine. Well, he's just finishing it off and he's going to bring it down to us the next day or so. And once we've got that and we can position it somewhere at the back of the garage there, and we'll be able to jack this car up, put it on axle stands. I'm going to remove the front and rear cross members and all the running gear and have the bare shell hanging on a sat on actual stands so that I can begin my spray work on it which is all going to be done in this garage at the risk of maybe hopefully not annoying the neighbours so we've spent uh, the last few hours just washing everything with acid and or whatever it, the hell that stuff is but it does burn and, uh, burnt a hole in my hand um, getting all the plastics clean got loads of doubles of bits and pieces this is more to find out what's worth keeping and what's uh, got to be thrown away um, so it's just at the moment it's anything that's plastic or clean we've also got these plastic boxes to put everything neatly in and some sort of organization and a bucket of nuts and bolts which I'm gonna 
look to get uh, regalvanized.